There's nine of the 11 games this weekend that involved an ACC school were decided by single digits. Seven of the 11 were decided by five points or less. There have just been so many of those type of games this year that are coming down to the final minute. Well, Jones, I think uh, if you think of it this way, within 30 seconds, every game we've played in the ACC, That's right. the outcome of the game is in doubt in the last 30 seconds. Yep. Now you can say, well, Georgia Tech was a five-point win. Well, they had to go to the monitor to take the ball away from us, That's right. which I didn't agree with the call. Uh, but they take the ball, they could take it and go to the monitor, and then it's their ball instead of our ball with – it was inside 30 seconds, down three. And now all of a sudden, that's a huge difference. It's their ball. We fouled them, and so now it's a five-point game. North Carolina State, we had the last two shots of the game that uh, could have tied the game. Mm-hmm. Notre Dame and uh, uh, Miami goes down, and we went on last-second shot in Miami and with nine seconds to go against Notre Dame. It has been that type of year for Carolina and just in the ACC thus far. So many weird aspects to this season, and you're seeing that play out on the court as well. We're going to talk a little bit more about this Miami game, just some of the individual standouts. Plus, we're going to get to your questions for Coach coming up soon as well. It's the Roy Williams Show from Learfield IMG College. Back with the Hall of Fame head coach of the Tar Heels, Roy Williams. My name is Jones Angel. Thanks so much for joining us here on the Roy Williams Show. Talking a little bit about Carolina's only action last week, the victory over Miami. That was Tuesday night down in Coral Gables. And Coach mentioned Leaky Black and just a terrific game in total for Leaky. Career high, 16 points. He was 4 of 4 from 3, 9 rebounds, 3 assists, 2 steals, a block. Really uh, gave you a whole lot on the court on Tuesday night. Yeah, and, you know, Leaky went down during the game, yeah. hurt his ankle and, and fought through it and uh, made big plays. He goes to the free throw line and misses both free throws. And then the very next possession, he gets a wide open three, and he took his time and checked the wind and the whole bit, but knocked it in <laughs> for us. And uh, uh, you're exactly right, 4-4 four, four from the three-point line. I think that's the most he's ever made in a game. I'm not sure he's ever made more than two in a game. Right. Uh, but uh, – uh, he gave us a lift, and so far it's been something that uh, we've needed every game. Somebody stepped up, and uh, uh, we'd like for all of them to keep trying to have take that opportunity and take turns doing it. Had a chance to talk to Leakey before the season started, and he talked a lot about how hard he had been working on his shot, and he understood that was something that needed to get more consistent. He felt like it was getting there. Good, good to see him start to have some success because, uh, boy, he could become such a dangerous player with everything else that he does well. Yeah, if he gets his shot going in, he's because he could be and should be, and I say should be because I've been after him pretty hard this year. Right. He's had three games where he was as good defensively as anybody I've ever coached. And then he's had a couple of games. He's as bad as it. That's a big range. You don't need to have that range. So I've been pushing him to be the best defender in the league. On top of that, he can help us rebound. He can be that third point guard who can bring the ball up the court and get us in the offense, get us in the break. And at uh, Miami made the threes from outside. So if he gets his shot going, it just adds another dimension to a guy that can be a really, really, really good basketball player. Coach mentioned the rebounding. Leakey was going into the weekend top 20 in the ACC in rebounding total, having a career year in that regard as well. And speaking of rebounds, Coach, Dayron Sharp, 12 points and a season-high 16 rebounds. What what is Dayron – how is he able to be such an effective rebounder? Well, he's got to stop rebounding his own misses. (laughs) You know, go ahead and make it the first. I'd rather have a high field goal percentage and lower offensive rebounds. But uh, uh, he's – I said early in the season, you remember this, I'm sure, Jones, that he had a chance to be the best rebounder I've coached since Tyler Hansbro. Yeah. Right? And Tyler left in 2009. That's quite a while ago. He passed a lot of players. But he can do that. He has a tremendous knack for going after the ball, strong, strong hands that if he gets his hands on the ball, a lot of times it's his as opposed to a, a jump situation. Yeah. And just he, he – uh, I've never played bridge in my life, never. But I heard you bid – that means you will say you want to compete is right. the way I look at it. Well, that's what it is with Dayron. He bids for every missed shot. The 16 rebounds, a freshman season high for Dayron Sharp, and another double-double for him as well. Mentioned had the 12 points too. Coach, uh, last thing about this game, then we'll take a break and start getting some questions. Caleb Love had a tough night shooting the ball, but he had some nice plays late. He had an assist, a steal, hit a big three for you. Mm-hmm. Hopefully maybe see if we can get his confidence going a little bit. Yeah, that three right in front of our bench was big. I mean, he reacted very emotionally himself because he's just been dying. Yeah. And he shoots the ball in practice very well. I'm telling you, 
when we have the shooting contest, he's up in the top two or three all the time, but he just hasn't gone in for him during the game. So hopefully that will give him a, another ounce of confidence and a little lift that the next one will go in as well. Carolina again wins it 67-65. Tar Heel's supposed to play on Saturday against Clemson. That didn't happen. Instead, they'll be playing Tuesday night in the Smith Center against Syracuse. Again, that's a 9 o'clock start. We'll preview the matchup with the Orange in a little bit. But when Coach and I return, we'll start getting to some of your questions. That's after this on the Roy Williams Show from Learfield IMG College. <laughs> 